When it comes to creative constructions to solve problems for humanity, engineers truly outdo themselves. And it's not just the land where they dominate. The innovation extends far beyond, reaching above the sky and below the sea. Whether it's manufacturing elaborate underwater tunnels or creating complete islands artificially, creativity truly knows no bounds. You'd think it'd be impossible for an incredibly massive skyscraper to float in the sea, but it's actually not. We are here to show you some of the most insane ocean constructions humans have come up with over the years. So make sure you stick around to the very end to not miss out. Number 8. Maislantkering This is what the world's largest flood protection project looks like. The Maislantkering is a storm surge barrier in South Holland, Netherlands. When a storm surge is expected to be more than 3 meters above normal sea level, the doors of the barrier start flooding and move towards each other, closing the waterway. The importance of this barrier simply cannot be overstated, especially for those in the surrounding area. When the seawater threatens more and more land due to the rising sea level, the Maeslands barrier is the ultimate protection of Rotterdam. What's more, the mobile gates of the barrier are nothing less than a marvel. They are a human achievement, unlike the barrier itself, which is controlled by a computer. But the fact that it's automated is a huge advantage, because it greatly decreases the probability of errors as well. In case of a storm, the decision whether or not to close the barrier is made by a computer system. If people were to manually make that decision, it would get messy real quick. Number 7. Skyscraper at Sea This massive oil platform has been designed and built to last over 40 years in the harsh elements of the Gulf of Mexico. It isn't surprising that this remarkable structure took thousands of workers years to construct. It stands at an impressive 16 stories in height, which is enough to leave anyone jaw-dropped. The skyscraper at sea is officially named Appomattox, and it's pretty much the largest floating production system Shell has ever come up with. Two football fields wide and weighing more than an aircraft carrier, the extraordinary looking construction is on its way to become one of the world's largest oil platforms. Creating a state-of-the-art, greener, long-lasting oil platform that's more massive than any other Shell projects we've seen in the past wasn't easy by any means. Thousands of engineers have relentlessly worked hard over a span of four years, facing tons of challenges along the way. In all honesty, it's pretty mind-blowing that something this huge even floats at all. Number 6. Underwater Structures Slash Coffer Dams When it comes to underwater construction, coffer dams are what truly stand out. They can be traced back to the Persian Empire and have stood the test of time not only because of their remarkable effectiveness, but also the sheer lack of alternatives. In the modern age, though, the process of creating cofferdams requires more than driving steel sheets into the ground to create an enclosure. Instead, there's a whole lot of geotechnical expertise involved. The steel pipes should be driven down deep enough so that water doesn't seep through, but it can't be too deep either, otherwise it'll be difficult to remove once the construction is finished. Cofferdam safety is another super important aspect to consider. Engineers have to calculate the most suitable height of the piles taking changes in the water levels due to factors like tides, floods, and other threats of that sort in order to keep the water out. It's not all that surprising that the price tag for manufacturing a cofferdam is huge. No wonder they're only used when no other construction alternatives are available. Number 5. World's Longest Underwater Tunnel For those of you who don't already know, the English Channel has long been one of the world's most significant maritime passages, and yet for the most part, crossing it was one of the riskiest things one could do, partly because of the channel's rocky shores and stormy weather. As a result, engineers of the early 1800s proposed several plans for increasing the 33-kilometer gap, with some designs including artificial islands linked by bridges, submerged tubes suspended from floating platforms, and an underwater passage more than two times the length of any other tunnel out there. Thanks to the invention of the tunnel boring machine and the discovery of a stable layer of chalk marl below the seabed, the construction of this incredible tunnel became all the more feasible. Hundreds of years after the initial construction, a group of French and British companies invested in the project with an amount equivalent to 14 billion pounds in the modern age. And so, the world's longest underwater tunnel became the most expensive infrastructure project to date. Number 4. MM Bridge This beautiful Japanese invention is a dream bridge that connects people like no other. 
In fact, it even contributes to the creation of future maps. The roots of the project go back to the Kurogane Bridge, which was the first iron bridge ever constructed in Japan. The bridge division of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries have built their recent projects according to the demands of time. And now comes the incredible MM Bridge, a dream creation that in the words of the manufacturers, opens up the future. It's an innovation that protects locals from large-scale earthquakes while enriching their daily lives. What's more, not only does the bridge enable the expansion of living areas and the facilitation of logistics, but it's also essentially a symbol of the city. It provides a pretty cool place for people to relax and take their mind off things. Number 3. Floating Highway Have a look at the world's very first floating tunnel in Norway. This submerged roadway is an excellent way to help speed travel along the country's rugged west coast. Although Western Norway is famous for its steep icy mountains, which contribute greatly to the region's overall beauty, they also come with their fair share of disadvantages. Life isn't easy for the motorist living there. With seven ferries along the way, the 700-mile trip between the cities of Kristiansand and Trondheim is almost 21 hours long. That's way too much for regular travelers. All of this could change with the incredible new infrastructure project being planned by the Norwegian government, which aims to replace the ferries with bridges, resulting in what could be the world's very first floating tunnel. The submerged roadway would essentially be a pair of concrete tubes about 100 feet underneath the water surface. This project has the potential to cut the Christiansand Trondheim travel time almost in half. What's more, it could also greatly minimize the environmental impact on the area. Number 2 bridges over water. It's highly unlikely that you won't come across a bridge of one sort or another while traveling every day. Even though bridges in general are pretty useful engineering marvels, those built over water are on a whole other level. They're like a connecting link between two lands separated by a water body. If you've ever wondered how the pillars are built in the water, ultimately giving rise to the construction of the whole bridge, we are here to show you. So depending on the level of water and the quality of the soil, there are different methods in which bridges are built over water. In low depth water, the foundation of the bridge is usually laid by filling that specific location for a temporary period. This is where the pillars of the bridge are eventually constructed. When the soil in the top layer is not suitable, temporary rigs are erected and piles are manufactured deep inside the riverbed. After that, the bridge is constructed by either taking support from the pillars, by temporary platforms in the water, or through barges. Number 1. Artificial Island So, as the name suggests, an artificial island is one constructed by man instead of natural means. But it's by no means an easy process. Artificial islands are usually created by expanding the existing islets and by developing on existing reefs, or merging some natural islets into bigger islands. The most common way through which artificial islands are created is land reclamation, which is a process where new land is made from oceans, riverbeds, and lake beds. The reclaimed land is called reclamation ground in general. Depending on the area in which they're created, the construction process of an artificial island might slightly vary. Generally speaking, there are three main stages, remediation of seabed, placement of seawall, and filling. What's more, breakwaters are also formed to protect the island. Sand drains are the most effective and cheap method of construction, while vibrocompaction is what's used to get rid of liquefaction. Even though these islands greatly damage the ocean by negatively affecting corals and marine life, there's no denying that they're a pretty impressive engineering achievements. Palm Jumeirah in Dubai and Peberholm in Denmark are some famous examples of artificial islands. Alright, comment down below which one of these ocean constructions blew your mind the most. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to TechJoint, and we'll see you in the next one.